my work is like the double-edged sword about um, the, the, the female experience. So it's the things that I treasure. Like I treasure, you know, the different things that I keep myself in terms of my own, um, uh, what I define as femininity. So the fact that I keep these buttons, the fact that I keep this, this jewelry, once I've lost one, I actually still keep it. So the piece, this piece that I'm, I'm showing you is called, um, actually the series is called Milk. And um, this particular series is talk about specifically the, um, I guess like the, the role of women in society, how women are perceived, and also I'm talking about the different things that women collect and that we uh, keep. Fingernail polish, I have little things in terms of memorabilia, um, earrings, um, buttons. So it, it's about all the little treasures that we keep. But on the other side, why the hell do we still keep these things? Why do we hold on to them? What do they really mean? And why do we feel that we are like the gatherers of this information? And you know, part of that, the fairy tale notion of being a little girl and growing up as a woman and all the things that, that shift as you do so, as we grow, but all the things that remain the same. All those notions of all the things that we have to have, the pretty things. Do they really define us? Um, and why do we choose to subscribing to that, to these notions? But, um, and in some cases, they just mean so much. Um, so it's like I, I play with it. You know, and one aspect I really love the fact that I can, that I choose to keep these things, or that I, I choose to match my jewelry with what I have on, or that I need to have my accessories on, and blah, blah, blah. But then on the other hand, it's like, why? It's, it's a push and pull that I play with in my work.